Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be back working on this 2023 Camaro here. And if you watched the previous video, we, we pulled the motor out and reinstalled it. So now we're gonna continue working on this, get the wiring hooked up. And uh, I've got these new uh, transmission cooler lines in. They sent me the wrong ones before, but they actually air freighted some in from the US. So came in in one day, so that was crazy fast. So the last ones, for some reason, didn't have this uh, end piece here. I don't know, it just, they weren't quite the right ones. I'm not sure what they're for or how I got them, but anyways, we can stick them in first and then I'm gonna put the inspect uh, suspension in, finish shaking up this wiring and uh, fire it up, I think. So I, I might put the rad in just so I can hook up the transmission cooler lines. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll probably hook that up. I just don't want oil to go squirting everywhere. And then I'm not gonna put the harmonic bouncer on yet. I'm just gonna leave that off until we fire it up and just make sure everything's good. I'm not gonna run it too long, just enough to hear run. And then I'm gonna probably pull it out and we'll put that sucker on the hoist. And then I can do the drive job up and everything over there just cause it really sucked doing it on the floor here. But uh, at least that way it'll roll around and then I can just get it on the hoist over there and get that all tied up underneath. And then move it back over here, just stick it back in the shed here for now while I'm working on some other stuff. But I think we should be able to get it running today. I got the new, uh, got a new, motor for here for the steering and uh the ac pump also showed up so we can take the ac pump on sway bar links on all the suspension back on and uh make it a roller anyway so we'll start with that and yeah super stoked to get this thing fired up i still have a haven't got this front timing covering yet it's still on back order they're supposed to update me today on it and same with this uh engine mount bracket here see it's busted there but you know we can still run it for now and i can always just change it out after i'm obviously not going to want to drive it too much like that but that's no big deal for now we can probably have to drop the cradle down a little bit or the steering rack out to be able to change that later but that's no big deal and uh i'd rather just get it all together now and get it running and i can do that after but for now i'm going to pull this uh change this motor on the steering and stick this uh compressor in and start doing the suspension up Alrighty, so I got the transmission cooler lines changed here and they were kind of a bugger. I ended up having to drop the trans or the transmission back down again a little bit so I can get to these lines. So if you can look, see here, the, these lines go all the way, hook up to the tranny there and then goes all the way to the back. And I think they hook up to the rear diff. So I've never actually seen that before or anything, but so uh, this, the bolt up here is probably the worst to get to, but. I ended up having to take more of the exhaust off, so it's just right off the manifolds now. 
but uh, yeah, I got a beat so I can put the transmission back up there and uh, hook these lines up and I'll probably just throw that exhaust back on there. And then uh, I think I'm pretty close to starting it up. I'm gonna, I might stick the radiator or the rad in here and uh, just hook these lines up and just so they don't puke on the floor. I guess I could maybe, you know, I could probably just put a loop with a piece of hose actually might be the best way to do it, but, but uh, yeah, I just hook a couple more things up here and then uh, I think we're gonna do our first start. I got the battery charging in the sh other shop, so I'll uh, stick the battery back in here and uh, try to fire it up. It's gonna be so loud too, because it's just uh, got no muffler, it's just the coming out of the cats there. All right, so I just threw the knuckles on there so I can put the calipers on just so if I'm hitting the brake there and I'm trying to start it up. And I hooked the battery up, but I'm having some problems with the, it's giving me a shift to park light here. So I don't know what's going on with that. So it won't let me turn it over or anything, but I did, I have some broken wires today that I need to go fix, but I, so I pulled the steering column apart. And if I do shit or um, stick it into, push down on here it'll uh, put it into neutral but sometimes if you just wiggle this it also will let you shift freely but yeah now it's saying like the shift to park and it won't let you do anything so not really sure what's going on with that I did I have some broken wires here at the front like I had a new harness all this is new all new harness and everything but I thought this came with it but here's the wire that goes across this front bar here it was busted so maybe i'll fix that and see if it uh saves my or solves my problem at all but i'll probably just end up changing this wire out <clears throat> but for now i'm just gonna put some quick connects on here and uh see if it changes anything all right so i got them uh, wired up here and i'm gonna try her again all right so i'm pretty much having no luck getting this thing running so i'm still getting uh I shift a park code and I scanned it and I'm getting a U code. So uh, I've read a few guys online are saying that the transmission control module is a problem. So they're actually only 250 bucks. So I'm going to try to get one and see if that'll uh, fix it. I went through all the other wiring, all the grounds and uh, everything else. But if you have any suggestions, just leave a comment down below and uh, maybe we'll try that. But for now, I'm just going to try a TCM and get a program to see. Hopefully that'll fix it. So. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be a wrap for this video today. And uh, hopefully the next video we can get out of here and get it running and uh, the airbags will be in. So get the seatbelts out, do the airbags and uh, finish up the suspension and everything, make it a roller. So, but yeah, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe and uh, catch you next time. Peace.